hello, coming to you live from the Disney Wonder. Woohoo! We have been traveling through the inside passage of Alaska, hitting towns like Juneau and Skagway and Ketchikan, and today is a day at sea. And it is early here, but you can see we are surrounded by a blanket of lovely mist, and <laughs> you will hear the foghorn go off. It has been absolutely an amazing journey. There have been so many, <clears throat> as we've gone through these different historical places, there have been so many amazing uh, frontiersmen, I guess is the best way to say it, that have placed their name on mountains and lakes and passageways and trains and towns. And it has been inspiring that these people throughout history with limited knowledge, with limited technology, with limited resources, were able to find and discover things that we still use and appreciate and love today. So on the S Word Live today, my goal is to make sales simple and fun. And to do that, I am gonna give you something that I have created, uh, and I call it the rebar effect. <laughs> if you ask any of my students or clients, <laughs> for the women of my mastermind, they would probably laugh because every single one of these... There's the foghorn. <laughs> I told you you'd hear it. Every single one of these is something I talk about all of the time, both in Celica Mother and with my private one-on-one -on -one clients. And so <laughs> I'm going to break it down for you. Rebar effect. H-R-I-B-A-R. -R. Number one, having a reason to reach out. So having a reason to reach out. That is so important. I want you guys to think about, do you have an email list? Do you do posts on social media? Whether it's LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, or whether you have ActiveCampaign or ConvertKit or even MailChimp, I'm sure that there is data that you can look at that would help you see who has been opening your emails, who's been engaging on your posts, what have they been saying? People don't hang out in your world for no good reason, right? Disney is phenomenal about this. They, um, they always seem to know exactly what we want, right? Well, it's because they're paying attention and they're collecting data. Um, so, you know, I'm not one to say data a lot, but, <clears throat> but I do definitely look at my data. But I look at the data not as individual dots on a matrix. I look at the data as these are people taking actions. How can I best serve them? And so that is the next step in terms of I, right? HR, have a reason, and now I individualize it. Um, this is another thing that Disney does amazing. They really personalize it. They you know they call you by name, um, and how they know your name, I, I'm sure they have some <laughs> some special way because there are literally a thousand crew members and a little over two thousand guests on board this ship, and every single person um, I've seen or heard has been so special. So <laughs> there's another one. See, look at him. He's still working so hard. Where is he? There he is. <laughs> They're all amazing. So individualize it. Don't just broadcast speak to a person. Now, you've heard people say this before, but I mean actually speak to a person. Not some avatar, not somebody who is like them, but actually them. Um, so that means, what does that mean exa exactly? That means if someone has... <laughs> Gotta love the foghorn. I mean, it's super foggy out. I mean, it's like, <laughs> you can't see anything. There's land over there. You can't see it. Um, <laughs> is if someone has opened up your email, for example, or if someone has liked one of your posts or engaged with your posts, look, look them up too. Like, check them out. Um, find what they've done. If you're selling to other businesses like I do, uh, then their businesses are gonna put things out there, so it's gonna be easy to do. If you're selling to individuals, um, if you're a health coach or a life coach or um, somebody who doesn't sell to other businesses necessarily, then um, it could be as simple as, hey, you know, everybody has a social platform that they're on. So maybe you find them on Instagram. Hey, I love that profile picture, something that's public. Is that your dog? You know, like, I, and, and so like, these are, these are all <laughs> finessed messages that need to be crafted with care and kindness and not sale, I'm gonna sell them something. Okay, so individualize it, meaning individualize, individualize your outreach. Um, make it personal and you don't have to make it about what you do initially. People think about elevator pitches. I'm not a fan of elevator pitches because that, that it, it cheapens what you do. And chances are what you do is something only you uniquely do in your specific way, whether you realize that or not. So <clears throat> the, next, <laughs> the next part of the rebar effect is, is to be yourself. Um, that you can't, I don't want you to try to be like me or like somebody else or your best friend or uh, the person you think you should be. I truly want you to just be who you are. 
Because when you are yourself, then you have no competition. And when it comes to sales, the first thing that I ask clients often is, you know, what makes you different? And a lot of them don't have any idea about what makes them different. And I'm encouraging you to, to know this in your heart. You are different whether you're trying to be or not. And <laughs> if we worked together, I would help pull that out of you. There's that popcorn again. <laughs> oh goodness, I love it, I love it. So, <clears throat> be yourself. And whatever that looks like, if it looks like crazy hair, <laughs> gray, um, you know, whatever. If I look at myself, there's so many things that make me different. Whether I like those things or not is another question. But at the end of the day, you know, be yourself. It will give you miles and miles of, uh, of, of, of goodness for your heart. And same thing goes here. Like every one of these people that are on the ship, Disney does this so well. They have their name and they where they're from. And you know, they're not trying to to teach them some you know uh, some other way like they're trying, not trying to teach them to blend in they're trying to teach them to be unique and special because we all are unique and special so a ask questions you know I've posted a few times lately about clients of mine uh, and former clients that have had success by continuing to ask questions about what their clients need um, but it's not just about asking broadly, it's about asking specifically. Ask the individual that you're having a conversation with, not just a broadcast ask, not just an email ask, not just a post ask, but an actual personal ask of an individual. What are you looking for? What do you need? Tell me in your own words, and then you can help them with what they truly <laughs> need. And then the, the, next, the next and the last one on the rebar effect is, is <laughs> sorry. The boat is literally, literally taking out all of my. It's like a float. No matter where I turn, the no matter where I turn, the wind continues to go in my hair. So, oh my goodness, this is so funny. The goal is this. The last, the last one is R, and it's continuing to have reasons to reach out. So continue to do things that you know your people would like because. There's that foghorn again <laughs> because you've asked. So when you have those continued reasons to reach out, I want you to think about what else can you provide them. If they need, for example, here, they do this so well. Every night I usually order um, an iced tea for dinner or with dinner, not for dinner. And so our wait staff now has gotten used to bringing, just bringing me an iced tea. <clears throat> At the same time, they also ask, you know, would you like some wine with dinner or would you like something else? Um, and the great thing is, is that sometimes I do, but they always come with the iced tea initially. So they've, they've really paid attention to what's happening around them um, and what my actions have been because no one takes actions on accident. Um, it's not just enough to measure the data, it's more important to measure the person and what their actions are. Be aware of them, what they're doing specifically, address them and what they're doing specifically. Again, I can't say this enough, specificity, individualization will win the day every day. And so this last time having a reason to reach out continually, those are built into what you are going to observe based on the people that are acting around you. So one of the biggest things that my clients ask oftentimes before we start working together is, you know, how do I even find these people? How do I find the people that need me? How do I, how do I connect with them once I identify them? What do I say so it's not weird and salesy and sweet? and awkward what do I do then what do I how do I start to introduce what I do once we've built a rapport and once we started the conversation how do I uh, you know turn the conversation so that they can understand you know I this is what I do for a living but it's not forceful or awkward and so those are all very specific things that I teach <laughs> all the time whether it's my programs or my one-on-one -on -one. so I encourage you to use this rebar effect system and start the journey today <laughs> in connecting with the people that need you the most. And I will see you next week on the S Word Live when I'm back home in Detroit.